Hey guys, so for this episode of Veg Life, I thought we would try out a new angle. It gives me a bit more arm space, and I'm going to talk to you through some of my favourite vegetarian snacks. All but one of the snacks I'm going to talk about in this video are in fact vegan and not vegetarian, which I think is great because it shows how accessible vegan food is, because I've been eating all of these things since before I was a vegetarian. The first on my list is a snack that you will already know that I love if you watched my Facts About Me video, because it is popcorn. The holy grail snack. That is popcorn. I have a popcorn maker at home, so I can make hot, fresh popcorn whenever I feel like it, which is just great. But if you don't have a popcorn machine at home, you can easily make it on the hob, or it's a really popular and common snack to find in stores now. You also find popcorn in a lot more shops, a lot more commonly than you used to. You can find it in the small grab bag crisp sections. You can also find them in the bigger to share bags of crisp sections, which are great for then sealing up and eating over a few days, or sharing with friends and family as part of a cozy night in. I've also recently been seeing bags of popcorn replacing the sweets in the bowls around the tills in Primark, which is really great because a bag of popcorn is such a healthier alternative to a bag of Maltesers. Popcorn is no longer just for the cinemas, it's such an easy to eat on the go snack and it's so healthy and there's so many different varying flavours of popcorn that you can buy and so you're almost guaranteed to find a flavour that you will enjoy. Next is the only not vegan snack and that is tomatoes and mozzarella with balsamic vinegar. I really, really like this snack. It's commonly used as like a side salad in restaurants, but I really like it just on its own. It also really works well with a few basil leaves, but I didn't have any, so I just went without. You could make this snack vegan by just replacing the mozzarella with vegan mozzarella or any other vegan cheese that you think would work well. Next we have dried mango. So the little that's near my work sells bags of dried mango, but the little that is near my house doesn't. So I will frequently pop in there before work and pick up like three or four bags and we all manage to demolish a whole bag in a day at work between us because it's just so yummy. We just leave it on the side and everyone just picks it all day. You might have seen as part of my vegan week that I had dried mango and I put it into little boxes with some dark chocolate just to make the snack a little bit more indulgent. But it is a really good snack on its own and it does taste great on its own. And it also means that you're getting one of your five a day as part of a delicious snack. Next we have pita bread and hummus. This is another one where there's so many different flavours of hummus out there and so many different types of pita bread that you can get that you can just mix up the snack and it's really hard to get bored of it. I personally prefer caramelised onion hummus, but you can also get like red pepper hummus and spicier ones and all sorts of different things that are out there. You can even make your own hummus if that was a thing that you're interested in doing, but I just buy my hummus in pots from Lidl and I also pick up their whole wheat pita breads. I like to toast my pita breads and then cut them into strips, kind of like soldiers that my parents gave me as a child. But you can have your pita breads cold, you could just cut them in half, you could spread the hummus inside the pita bread. It's a surprisingly easy snack to eat on the go as well, because you don't necessarily have to cook anything, you can just eat both elements of it cold. It can also really easily be expanded into an entire meal by just adding some other vegetables alongside the hummus and the pita bread. I like to go for carrots and celery and baby corn, and then I just feel like I'm getting some more of my five a day as well as the protein from the chickpeas and it's just delicious. And the last snack for this video is apple and peanut butter. So this is a great one because you're getting lots of protein and healthy fats from the peanut butter as well as one of your five a day from the apple. I have an apple slicer at home so I like to use that and get perfectly segmented pieces of apple but you could chop it up with a knife or eat it whole, depends, it's personal preference. And then you can either have the apple and the peanut butter next to each other or you can spread the peanut butter onto the individual apple slices which is what I like to do best because then you get the perfect balance of sweet and salty and the soft and crunchiness. This also doesn't have to be limited to peanut butter, you could use any kind of nut butter, whatever is your personal preference in nut butters. I haven't really explored them at all so I just stick with peanut butter but it is mostly the combination of the sweet and salty and the two different textures working together that makes it such an enjoyable snack. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please let me know what are some of your favourite vegan and vegetarian snacks in the comments. 
there will be another episode of this coming out hopefully this year but I'm still kind of working on my list and I will see you guys next month for another episode of Veg Life.